Hello and welcome to Life Up. This is another great video I'm bringing to you. So this is um, a footage of a road trip that I made. And I think this is the dangerous and scariest. It's not that I think. This is the dangerous and scariest road trip I've made. Maybe one day I'll make and I'll make another one which may be scary than this. So this one is going down to Bella Coola, British Columbia. Bella Coola is a very nice community with a whole lot of nature, wildlife attraction. And this is the only road that you can use to access Bella Coola. Either you take this road or you take a plane or you take a ferry. So that is the only way you can reach Bella Coola. So I say, well, I've heard of it and I know if you're adventurous, you've also heard of it before. So I said, let me hit the road one day and then see how it is. It is very nice drive. It's very nice drive. This is on Highway 20 East. Yeah, Highway 20 East. Yeah, my East West, East West. Yeah, I think it's East. Yeah, that is moving from, from Williams Lake. It takes you about seven hours to get there. But um, it gets to a point that you get to this gravel road. It's a paved road to a point that you get to this gravel road. Then you take this gravel road for some hours. But it's very, like it's, the valley is very steep. Then the mountain, I think it's about, you are high about 5,000 meters or something like that. Yeah, I've forgotten. I have to make I've, yeah, but it's very, very high and it's very scary. So, yeah, just watch and see how scary some places can be. How scary some places can be. And then the road, like, as you can see, it's very small. And there's not one way, yeah, the opposite side is also working. The good part is you don't usually meet cars, like cars don't usually pass here, so... You don't meet cars over here. So imagine in the winter time where you have snow, ice, and then driving here, it's very dangerous. But people still drive because, yeah, if you have to, you have to. Especially those who live there, if they have to drive for something, they have to drive for something. So this road is not like they don't close it permanently during winter time it's open but when it's dangerous they close it but they have workers on it during the winter even now there are workers that patrol it and make sure that it's safe for everybody safe for everybody i've, I've not heard of any accident here i don't know but i've not heard of any accident on this road but i just have to be careful when driving so if you're adventurous and then you want to look and for nature, you can look at Bella Coola. And then there are so many things that you can also do there. So many things that you can do there. It's a very nice place. So, you see, it's very dangerous. I was lucky, I think, throughout my trip, I met about five or six cars. And then I met none of them at a dangerous point. None of them, I made them at the dangerous point. The very last one that um, at the end of this video, if you watch to the end of this video, you see that what I'm talking about. That was a very huge truck. I think it was a petrol tanker or something like that. Yeah, I think, yeah, a petrol tanker, very big one. But I was lucky I made that car just at the end of the valley. So that was praise the Lord. What I said to myself is, wow, I'm lucky. I wouldn't know what I would have done if I've made a car along the stretch. <laughs> along the stretch. Because, yeah, it's narrow and anything. I don't know how they are going to man. We are going to manage to share this narrow road with that big car. Even meeting that big car on a very normal flat road. You have you take your time and then make sure and then meeting them on this curvy narrow 
mountain road because here you can there's no way i'm going to go to the edge for him to pass i don't know there's no way i'm going to go to the edge maybe you have to you have to stay there and you have to come and drive my car past his before he gets his way out <laughs> well but well it's, it's very nice it's very nice like if you're getting all this view it's very very nice try it one day if you're in canada if you're in canada you may try it one day if you're in bc you can drive and get it if you're not in bc and you don't want to drive much you can get to no even that wouldn't work you still have to bring your car because if you hide a car from williams like you have to take the car back i don't think um they have a rental in bella Coola that you can leave your car and then take a plane yeah but it's very nice you can you can make arrangements and then take this trip one day very nice place to look at so well to me this is the scariest um road um i've traveled on like i've traveled on yeah and i was driving myself alone it's advisable you go with somebody on this trip but i did it alone i did it alone so continue watching watch the end and see the car that i'm talking about that tanker and then just imagine tell me what you what you would have done if you have met the tanker on this stretch tell me what you have done then so this is life app if you are not if you are not part of the family please be part of the family now be part of the family now let's be greater family we help you travel abroad if you want to school if you want to um, work whatever you want we we'll give you the guidelines we we'll give you the information give me we we'll give you the information we don't do application it's only information but if you are too busy that you can do your application then you want us to help you with that let us know and see how best we can help you yeah so during winter they are here to help you the trucks um the caterpillars are there they plow the road all the time and make sure it's safe for everybody yeah the, the bad part too is that there's no cellular service over here so if you're not using satellite phone you, do, you can't make any call when you are here unless you are using a satellite phone unless you're using a satellite phone so here is a place that you need to prepare yourself well if you are going if you're going and then yeah it would be nice to travel here in the winter so yeah if you are around canada yeah let's see if one winter we can come and then go through this stretch and see how the feeling is during the winter and then, then maybe if i drive you may be a cameraman and can get great views so let me see let me see if you're adventurous like me come let's do some adventure here it's very nice place very very nice place so life up we are still helping we are still helping a lot people are getting results yes i have people who have gotten schools working on with their visa application people who are teaching in the united states or through the little little information that we are giving them so be part of this family let's build a greater family let's give you all the information that you need so continue watching my scariest road trip that's the bella Coola valley continue watching to the end and tell me if this is something you will do or you would love to do one day so see you next time bye <laughs>